Now, with the Premiere Pro effects, you do have the ability to control your effects and your looks. So in this case, if I go into the look in effects studio, and I'm just going to go and get a glow effects here. We just highlight over some of the uh, thumbnails here to get a preview. I'm just going to double click. Okay, so now I'm just going to go into my effects controls. And if I want to just kind of mess around with this glow here, I can just go into the blur and now just change the blurriness. And you're going to see that the glow is going to change. Okay, so you can just mess around with the presets that are already given. That way you have the flexibility to change what you need. Same with color. Now, if I were to go into Color Master for a second. And here we're going to have our color default here for the color pop grade. And again, I can just go into my effect controls and just start to change some of the vibrance here and bring that down. Because all shots are going to be different, therefore you may just have to adjust some of the color yourself to get the exact look that you want. Going back into looks and effects studios, I'm just going to go down to the night effects. Now with the night effects, it's important to know what type of shot you're putting this on. So let's look at a few examples here. So I have these two cars driving here. I have a woman running through the field. And then we have more of a sunset type of shot. Now, we have different type of exposures for these shots, so you're not going to get the same exact outcome with something like night effects. So here, if I have kind of a dark sunset, I'm going to double click. And we see that we have a lot of contrast here. It looks pretty good, and we just may need to adjust a couple things. However, now I'm just going to go to my two cars driving. And you can see I have a different look for this shot, and this looks pretty good. Now with this shot with the woman running through the field, I'm going to double click. And you see we have a little bit different result here. You know, we can make adjustments here. So we can just highlight the layer, go into our effects control. And I'm just going to go to exposure, and I can just start to bring down the exposure for this particular shot. That way I can start to get the look that I need and play with some of the other settings. And here, just mess around with the highlights. And you can just start to make adjustments for your shot. Because as you can see, we're going to get different types of outcomes with different type of exposures. You can always adjust the effects in your effects controls in Premiere Pro. That's it. Enjoy.